Hey, it's Sick Boy for the Gaming Anarchist Collective, and I've just read an article, an opinion piece, on Polygon called The Nightmare's Over, They're Not Coming for Your Games by a Catherine Cross, and it is the dumbest argument I have heard in some time, and I have to address it. I'm sorry, it, it is everything that is wrong with certain people in the gaming community, and I'll explain why. Now, it starts off by referring to Catherine Petit, who you will know that I did a video, if you've been watching my stuff for a while, back last year, when uh, Catherine Petit is a uh, transgender woman, and decided to score GTA down one point because she found it sexist. Now, she gave it a 9 out of 10, she gave Gone Home a higher score. Now, I personally can't see how you can even subjectively it's your own opinion as a reviewer, however, at the end of the day, she can say she enjoyed one more than the other, but to claim that one is a better product than the other, I really don't think you can really argue that even for value, even on value for money, for mechanics, for graphics, for storytelling, for anything, Gone Home doesn't really trump GTA 5 in any aspect, in my personal opinion. Now, her opinion is otherwise, and that's just fine. And she referred to an email that someone, one person sent her, maybe others did, but these people are all morons, saying, well, you know, thanks very much, it's all well and good you scoring Gone Home that well, but if it, if basically it will mean that people won't make the games that we like anymore, because they'll be too busy making arty games like Gone Home. Now, that argument is rubbish, for a number of reasons. One, because games like GTA 5 are making far more profit than Gone Home. And FIFA is making more profit than Gone Home, and Madden is making more profit than Gone Home, and Call of Duty and Battlefield and all major AAA games that are traditionally boys games. They're laddie games. So I don't really care how you want to break down the statistics as to how many women are gamers. Clearly, the majority of gamers are either men or they are women playing games that are traditionally male. The fact of the matter is that Gone Home did not sell 20 million copies because the majority of gamers don't really care about it. The majority of gamers like their Call of Duty, like their GTA, like their FIFA, like their Madden. That's what the majority of gamers. Now those aren't the core gaming audience, but that is the broad gaming audience, absolutely couldn't give half a monkey's toss about Gone Home. And you see this argument time and time again, and it's the language in these sort of articles that bugs me, bugs me to my core, because people who play games, and if you are a journalist, or if you are a creator, if you are a developer, whatever, we're all gamers, we're all within the gaming sphere. Now I dislike the title gamer in general because it's too broad a context, but for the sake of argument, we're all gamers, okay? Notice how they say they, not come to take your games, not our games, because they're separate from you. Because they decide that you are beneath them. And your opinions don't matter because they're going to straw man your opinions. So anybody... Any bloke who says, frankly, this this is all kind of silly, I disagree with it, however they choose to say it, the phrase, they're coming to take your games away, they're not coming to take your games away, nobody thinks they're coming to take, who's they? It's the typical argument, it's the straw man argument of the intellectual cripple. It is a dumb, dumb argument made by dumb people who have a lot more bias and hatred in their heart than I could personally fathom. Because how can you have such disdain for people to think that they could be so dumb that you will just completely and utterly defame them that, for example, you criticise somebody. Say, for example, Anita Sarkeesian receives a lot, of, a lot of criticism. A lot of it I consider highly valid. Now, some people, the minority of people who dislike what she has to say, will give her abuse and trolling, and they are totally out of line. But what people will then do is then go, oh, look how the male gamers freak out, despite the fact I know a lot of female gamers who think she's full of shit, but that's irrelevant. The way that you grasp on and want to basically paint the majority of people who get play games, you are just as bad as those assholes who aren't involved in gaming, who like to just say, this is what gamers are like. This is what they think. Aren't they all morons living in their parents' basement? The people like you are the people within the gaming community who refer to the gamers as basement-dwelling, blah-de-blah-de-blah-de-blah. 
You're that kind of person, Catherine, you really are. And it's deeply unfortunate that you want to be so goddamn divisive. Rather than say, rather than big up things you like, you have to wallow in the negativity. Now I don't care that you're annoyed that there are trolls on the internet, but trolls are on the internet. Everybody gets trolled. Cisgendered male, part of the privileged elite, I get trolled. In my small scale videos, yeah, fucking right I get trolled. Yeah, I get abuse. I get plenty of it. I could join a post them all of people going, oh, he sounds like a faggot, or, oh, I want to punch him in his fucking face. This guy's a fucking asshole. I hope he dies. Bloody, bloody, bloody. These twats come along, and I'm sure if my audience expanded to the level of some people like Anita Sarkis, I'm sure I'd get a similar degree of horrible vitriolic hate. Yes, it is unlikely that they will include things like rape threats. Because, yes, their insults are tailored towards the people they're aiming it to. But this whole argument, the way that you reduce the complexity of a discussion down to Don't worry gamers, they're not taking your games away. We know. Everybody knows. What you are making a statement of is just banal and stupid. And you should really revise your opinions, try to promote what you want to see, promote the positive change, encourage the things that you see as encouraging. Don't spend your time with one hand lauding people and on the other hand lambasting a just a what a, a, a silent majority. Uh, most people they all think this. They don't. People don't think that. You make that up. Really you are. You're taking a small sample size. It is like me saying well if an Id Sarkeesian makes a video and has an opinion, therefore every single woman must think the same way. Or failing that, maybe just every single woman who calls themselves a feminist must think that way. And that's not true. This is just bullshit. And I'm sick and tired of the childish bickering of people who get published on these major websites for this click-baiting bullshit. People like you are a cancer. You need to refine your message, change how you say things, grow up and get a sense of perspective before you want to have be taken seriously by anybody of substance. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you guys later.